back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Ready, Set, Blow podcast. Finally got my man Brian Jezielowski here. Yes, sir. And I said it right. Like I you did. Him. You nailed it. I know You know. I know my Polish last names. I grew up in New York. I knew plenty of Polish people. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Big Polish community? Uh, Yeah, some parts of it. Some parts of Queens were big Polish communities. Greenpoint. Uh, okay. All uh, right. Some Polish people in my neighborhood, Ridgewood. Nice. Yeah. My family's from Port Richmond, Philly, which is a huge Polish neighborhood. Okay. Now there's a bunch of zombies walking around. Is, in is that like downtown Philly? It's like north east ish of okay. downtown okay. so there's like a bunch of little neighborhoods going going through there how long have you been out here 10 years almost 11 years I man your yeah. Life basically. yeah it feels weird right it did, feels did like you get it. out here for comedy or something else before? i came out here for acting okay. and just i needed to change the lifestyle like i had a bunch of friends out here oh, i came to visit so i loved closet. it <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly yeah I it's see. been great ever since yeah it's like his dick wasn't accepted back in philadelphia so why, here. why do you think i'm on all these hbo specials <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't How like it back then. Then, if you do an acting, if you start as an actor, I always wanted to do it, and I was always growing up. I was just doing impressions of people, making fun of people all the time, like constantly doing shit to entertain people and make people laugh. Like I played basketball in college, and I was doing impressions of our coaches, doing impressions of other players. Like I would just have the locker room dying. Okay, I was terrible at basketball. I was great in the locker room, terrible yeah, on the court. Great locker room guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's often like the white guy on the teams. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, it's a good locker room guy. A great a good glue guy. Yeah, I was a glue, glue guy. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kept it all together. clubhouse guy. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> exactly. Terrible stats. Like, oh, yeah. I think I averaged He's like players point, co- a, point know, two players points a coach. game. Yeah. Nice. Did, uh, uh, I don't know you did impressions. Do you do impressions in your act? Because I've never seen Dude, I, You know what's funny? I used to. Okay. And then I kind of stopped doing them because they weren't hitting as well as i wanted to and maybe i should have pushed it a little a little harder okay like i used to do an impression of this russian dude that played basketball on our team seven foot russian guy okay. that we played basketball oh, wow. with yeah he was fucking hilarious dude something like one in five seven footers have played in the nba or something like seriously that. yeah there's like uh, you can look that up like some crazy stat like it's it's like i mean i got it yeah, i want to say it's more than one in ten like if you're over seven feet tall you have like a 15 percent chance of playing the nba you probably should yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah. i mean he I, smoked too much weed so he never ended up oh 70 uh, there it goes oh look it's at a that. myth though huh Busting the myth. I mean, everybody thinks I play in the fucking NBA, so if you're seven foot, you might as well. Yeah, well, I mean, you know how fucked up it is to be seven foot tall and not be athletic? It, or at least not be a millionaire. Because well, now saying. you got to get all your clothes yeah, you can't, custom nothing made. Fit, doors have, don't fit right. Right. You, know you, can't, like, you nothing can't fly, fits right. You can't fly on regular airplanes. Like yeah. It's going to be impossible. Yeah. You need to be rich somehow, and probably the NBA is the easiest way to do it. Yeah, as a seven footer. Mm-hmm. So I guess it's a myth, huh, Mikey? Yeah. That's wow, how about that? I, I don't accept that. I like. I like... I like when the internet doesn't inform me. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm fucking right. old, man. I remember I remember enjoying, like, you ever this? I, I don't know how old you are, but when I was a kid, like, you'd be like, oh, what was the name of that that movie? Like, some random, you know, made for yeah. And you'd be, like, trying to remember, trying to remember. Like, oh, you know, I'll think about it. And you get a call from your buddy two years later. Oh, it was Spaceballs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Space, Spaceballs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah and like, then you have like, that big rejoice. Cause, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, now like, you just look that shit up. Off the tip of my tongue. Yeah, like, I'm just in my phone immediately trying to, Yeah. You know, that's why I like shit that's not Googleable. You know what I mean? It was like, yo, who was the chick that I fucked two weekends ago? <laughs> what was her name? Like, bro, then, yeah. then, then it's two weeks that, later, and your buddy's like, pig? oh, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who was that pig I took home from the <laughs> <Yeah>. bar? <laughs> Please, God. But you can't Google that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, I, I wonder how, how bad it's going to get, how crazy it's going to get with AI. Because, like, it's wild. Like, dude, the other day I was checking, like, can you post this on Instagram or is it a problem? And, like, chat GPT was like, oh, no, this will be a problem. This won't, like, it'll, like, it like in, tells you in terms of like, like, uh, like where like where like where is it not going to be able to answer? Like I guess personal stuff. Oh yeah, but but who knows? But dude, still, because like, be in your head. Well, no. Well, that, that's the thing. All that shit's on Facebook. So like, right? You know, who's that girl who hooked up in 2016? And they're just going to start posting pictures. Was it this girl? Was it this girl? Was it this girl? Like, right? Like it, at, at some point, because all the data is out there. It's all out there. Yeah. Everything you buy, everything you listen to. Think about this. I don't know if you're on Facebook anymore. I just go on there to remember, I have it. To remember yeah. people's birthdays. Yeah, that's all it's for. But then, but it's, then, a ca- it's a birthday it calendar. It's a birthday for calendar. <laughs> but every now and again, that shit pops up where it's like 13 years ago, you posted this. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. I don't remember posting that I was yeah. like some dumb lyric from some rap song that well, I was feeling it, at the time. It always reminds you of like one of the worst times of your life or one of the most embarrassing things you've done. Oh, for sure. Remember this? Like, no, I don't yeah, want to remember no. that. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. I don't it's so all, bad. Dude. Some shit though, like... It'll you'll it'll post and you're like, oh, this is 15 years later. I'm still think, th- thinking the same dumb shit. Oh yeah, or I'm or I'm still dating the same dumb bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm still making the I same mistakes with these fucking like... pigs. 
<laughs> so bad. John married to Adam. Are you married? No, no. I was going to I was no, I came to close once. Came very close. Did once. you engage? Oh yeah, called it off a few weeks before. You did or she did? I did. Oh shit. I did. Yeah, I, I, I realized that was not the path I should be going down. Yeah, yeah. And so, look at me now. So dudes I'm now. Huh? Jokes on the so you're into dudes now. Yeah, that's I mean, why you left. Her. That's why I had you on the podcast. <laughs> but <laughs> I knew this is a weird reason. Come up to yeah, fucking Sherman Oaks. No pants on. It was weird. <laughs> Dude, how you feeling, man? I know you were. I tried to get you in a couple weeks ago. You got sick. You got oh, appendicitis. Dude, fucking random appendicitis. Did they got, um, they remove it? Yeah, he took it out. Oh wow! I got, okay, I got, so you had like legit surgery. Yeah, dude, same See? day. I had no idea how serious it was. So I got back from Nashville and I was boozing real heavy for my friend's fortieth birthday. So yeah. I get back Monday morning and I get this pain right here. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm probably just dehydrated, hungover. Yeah, hungover, whatever. You know, it is what it is. I was Typical guy. It's like, yeah, oh, my body hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's why go to the normal. doctor? It'll right? be going yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. So I wake up the next morning, I'm like, oh, shit, and it's real specific in a spot, right? So I'm like, ah, I could probably go to the gym and, like, work this out. You know what I mean? Yeah, Let me totally get on get on a treadmill. and get, yeah. yeah, it's probably just a cramp, right? I got to yeah. fucking fart it out. You know what I mean? It's probably just gas. <laughs> you fart it out for a little bit. So I, I'm like... I'm like getting ready to go to the gym. I'm like, this is not normal. So I call a doctor, like get you on know, like a telehealth call, and he runs me through a couple of tests. He's like, all right, you, uh, I'm gonna suggest you go to the emergency room for a possible appendicitis. I was like, all right, so should I go like, you know, Thursday, Friday? When he th-? he goes, no, man, you gotta go now. No, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Drive to the emergency room. I'm in there. I get a CAT scan done. She comes back an hour later. She's like, yeah, you have appendicitis. You have to get surgery. I'm like, okay, should I schedule this for like next week? When can you have me in? She goes. No, we got to do this today. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it's like that. Oh, dude. <laughs> I had no idea. My, my nephew, when he was a kid, he was like seven, uh, probably eight or nine, he had appendicitis and it burst. And when it ruptures, it's bad. Yeah, dude. He got like, uh, I don't know if it was sepsis, some other fucking. Yeah, you can get sepsis. Yeah, I was yeah. reading about it after. But it just, fact. yeah, it just like fills your abdomen, you know. And same thing. He mm-hmm. thought he had a stomach ache. Mom left it for a day and it burst overnight. Yeah. He woke up in agony. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that I went in early. Even oh, yeah. Though- well, they had the dude, they had him in the hospital for like fucking two or three weeks because. When it bursts, they have to clean out the infection and then drain it to make yeah. sure it doesn't reoccur. So they have you like on heavy antibiotics and sedated, so like you don't move around. Yeah, I was um, out the next day and I drove home the next day. Well, yeah, I mean, because no, it burst. Like, God, burst. otherwise, yeah, the, they said you'd be if it burst, you'd be in there for a month. That's right. why I was like, no, no, we gotta go now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, na- the, yeah. Now you'll be out tonight. To, if you wait till tomorrow, and it blows up. You're gonna be exactly. here for a month. Yeah. I'm done. The fucked up part about it was I I hear all these horror stories from other people. I was in there for a week and it was the most excruciating pain ever. I'm like, shit, man. I'm kind of a pussy for not sticking this out. You know what, <laughs> what I mean? Like, I feel like I could have stuck it out another week. Yeah, wait a while. And just, yeah, I, I fucking went in the next day. Like, what a pussy. Yeah. See, but that, that's the thing. About having a day job you have health insurance that's right, true right? that was beautiful I, I went uh oh shit six years without it and thank oh, god man. nothing happened but i'm thinking like, yeah what the fuck dude you know, i'm in my 40s i'm 41 i'm like fuck man you Same. know like, if something happens i'm i'm up like it's like oh you know you got polyps in your ass we got to do this <laughs> it's like i don't have you know col- colonoscopy money you know right I mean? no no <laughs> I, don't have, you, I don't have any you that. do yeah, yeah, I, don't have yeah. Any, I, I can't afford I mean, any medical i mean I'm, any medical bill the... like 80 grand i mean anything you anything that happens it's, oh, it's for a sure. five figure number Especially, let alone an yeah, ambulance strep- that'll be twelve thousand dollars what the right. fuck like you know, i'm end up going to the free clinic in weho just so they can check your ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check just, those polyps yeah. <laughs> you here for the hiv test no yeah, i need the abbey it's a bar on santa monica they give exactly. out free colonoscopies every night. Yeah. Just in bathroom, there's a whole line of people. <laughs> Holy shit. Colonoscopy in a golden shower, and you're, and you're set to go. <laughs> so you got out here 10 years ago. How long did you... Are uh, you still doing the acting stuff? Uh, I put it on pause for this job for a little bit, okay. which kind of sucks. Um, what kind, I was of, doing, what kind I of job? Was, like day job there? Like yeah, I'm selling, I'm selling um, laboratory equipment. It's nice, dude. fucking weird. So this is it gets even weirder. Like I, I sell equipment that they use in animal research. Oh, wow. So I sell to oh, pharma my God. companies the and universities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The they protest are... outside places sometimes. we got sure. we got to duck in and slide slide into so the So what basement. kind of animal tests do they do? Like, what, what are the devices doing to the animals that they test? This is so do you the, even know? Or you just the, like, I don't know. Here's... Sometimes I ask. Sometimes they don't even talk about it. The, the, but last place I went into, they were doing studies for actually like uh, psychedelics. Um, oh, nice. Psilocybin, so you're selling the LSD. mushroom? You're just a yeah. drug dealer in disguise? <laughs> God, I lab, was. It's I was, lab equipment. I was asking, asking for samples. <laughs> I'm like, no, mean, no, no, we have to worry about the air changes. LSD lying around? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Extra? <laughs> That'd be fucking great. Um, but yeah, weird shit. They knock out certain genes in mice and rats. So they can test whether their hormones or muscles grow. It's Where like, are all the animal labs here in LA? Everywhere. Oh, really? Because <laughs> uh, I would have thought they'd be Cedar like... Cedar Sinai, like, USC, oh, okay. UCLA. I would have thought they'd be like... Every, you, know, you have these weird fucking animals. Like I thought it'd be like in a warehouse somewhere out... Nah, you know, it's every university, Covina. every pharma company, Amgen out in like Thousand Oak, like all yeah. these places. Every pharma company has it. 
yeah. every institute, cancer institute. How'd university. you get into sales? How, like, how did, how I was doing that in Philly before I moved here. Okay. So I was acting on the side and doing this full time in Philly and New York. So okay. I was I was taking the train up to New York. I was getting my company to pay for meetings that yeah. I had to go to and going to auditions and shit. Nice. And then I just got tired of it. I quit, moved out here, okay. kept acting, started doing stand up like a year and a half after I moved here. So 2015 probably. Okay. And then that kind of took off. I was doing both for a while, working in restaurants, driving for Lyft and Uber. You know, oh, yeah, very cli- very Same. cliche I've shit. It all. Cliche L.A. You know, <laughs> I've done I mean? my time behind you know, yeah. the Uber driver wheel. Oh yeah, great stories. Uh, Honestly, some great, how long mostly did you do annoying. It? I mean, I did it for a year and a half, almost two years. Yeah, same. Anyway, yeah. I did it for about a year. Yeah, coming out of the pandemic, it was broke. Like, oh, right. shit. Well, I mean, we all fucking, you know, I yeah. mean, you, you had the money coming in during the pandemic, but then, like, when everything came back, it's like, all right, I don't have a calendar full of gigs right. or some side hustle because no one was doing it. was just paying for you to everything sit Everything still closed, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, all right, I got to get out and, you know, drive yeah. out a bit. And uh, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, what I was annoyed by is, is just how... Uh, how much money Uber takes from you? They, they run, they're running oh, a real rag. They're running a real scam. Yeah, you know I mean? when, I, yeah. when I started doing it, they were giving you all of the tips because they were oh, still yeah. trying to get people in, right? Yeah. So I was like, this is great. I'm making whatever. I'm meeting people. I'm fucking chicks that are coming in here. I'm smoking <laughs> weed and people. Like, I was like, yeah. oh, I, I was consensually? new to, Yes, right? yes. Allegedly. Allegedly. I was new to town. So I was like learning all the roads and neighborhoods. I was learning what clubs to go out. People were inviting me to come out. Yeah. Like, I was, I remember I hooked up with my first gilf. Driving, driving How old lift. Was this? She was fifty six. Fifty six. Yeah, fifty six out here. She can still look pretty good. Yeah, she, fifty six back east. She looks like a ghoul. Yeah, she looked great. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, she had like a, a three year old granddaughter or something. I'm like, this is amazing. So how did that go? I'm like, down? L A is great. She was my passenger, and we okay. just started chatting it up. And you dropped up the head, kind of come inside and bone you. <laughs> it was like a week later. Okay. It wasn't off this off the same night. It was okay. like a week that, later. That is a little tough. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So now that I know where you live, can I come inside? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, how do you smooth that out? Uh, that, that's tough, man. Yeah, drink this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Phil Cosby. Gave she gets the home court advantage, though. I love an away game. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's, yeah, well, the, dude, I, I've, it's it's. It is, I think, best to hook up with a girl the first time at her place. For sure. Because then you can decide when you want to leave. Takes or if the it's uncomfortable, off. right? They're yeah. more comfortable. They're at home. Right? Oh, yeah. Although, uh, I guess in years past, like, I feel like women were less likely to have you over to their place. But I feel like once the pandemic hit and everyone was just going from their, each, each other's apartment, they, they that ravenous. went out the window. Like, yeah. you know, because women are like, I don't want you to see where I live. Fucking stalk me. Yeah. But during the pandemic, no one was going anywhere. So you're like, no either you go to her place or your place. You're not going, there's nowhere to go out right. to. Right. We all lived in. Yeah. In our in our living rooms, yeah, yeah it cocoon. was great. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Nice. People were ravenous after the pandemic. Uh, it was a whole different scene. Oh yeah. I worked in a restaurant, and like after people got out, it was like, this well, I mean, is... you coop people up, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. They, they felt like they were in solitary confinement. Right. I thought I, I mean, was gonna I, make some babies. Dude, think about that. Think about how. Like, I mean, DMs. Everyone was making all <laughs> sorts of plans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, when this pandemic's over, we're gonna go here. We're gonna fuck. Blah blah. blah. Yeah. I want to know how many of the how many of these DM hookups actually followed through. After oh, the pandemic, right? You know, like, like, are we yeah. gonna follow up on these plans? <laughs> no, the guarantee. You know, you know, am I flying to Tampa to get my, you know, my weasel <laughs> greased or what, lady? Like, oh, what are we doing here, right? <laughs> Tampa. Just sending pictures. How many were just bots anyway? Like, oh, I'll, my I'll, God. I'll talk to a bot for a few hours, you know, oh, just yeah. to keep a, me busy. A, a few Russian troll farms have pictures of my dicks. Yeah. Around. <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed, guaranteed, dude. My, my dick okay. is sitting in, in a library of dicks with, with the Russian intelligence. And you thought it was Christian Mingle, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, that's why I can't run for Senate. You know? <laughs> the, or you could. The Russians are going, yeah, at this point. It, <laughs> you yeah, might be the best option. Yeah, I, honestly, yeah, at this point, it, I don't think, what what could get you eliminated from running? Because there's a fucking guy know, who was man. on a, who was that black guy, uh, the governor of North Carolina that came out a couple weeks ago. He was commenting on a porn chat site. No shit. Which, commenting on a porn site, right? I mean, that's red flag number one yeah, for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. any person. You, <laughs> like, if you're the guy or gal commenting on a porn site, like, it's who so has the bad. time? Who's so bad? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rub I'll one always, out, dude. I'm not here to have a conversation. It's, you know? it's bad, too, because I'll always, as soon as I get done, I'll start to scroll and I'll see that first comment and I'll read it and I'm like, oh, God. Like, I yeah, gotta, dude, I gotta well, get out of here. Dude, something, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, for fun, after I finish, I'm like, right. what, what are they saying about this? Right, as I'm and about it, to and pass it, out. And there'll be like 30, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm trying to fight the sleep in my bed. Tissues he's, on my chest. He's, ta- he's talking about how great her eyebrows are, and like she's got yeah. a nice tattoo. Yeah. And I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm, at minute twenty three, you could tell she was faking it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's doing this for drug money. Right? Yeah. Clearly, clearly, yeah, she's, she's half incoherent at the time. Like, yeah. Yeah, she's got a problem. Yeah, okay? right. She doesn't have parents and a drug addiction. So, unbelievable, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, uh... 
<laughs> fucking comments in the pool. But this guy, so this, uh, I forget his name. You can look it up. It's a black governor from North Carolina. Or he's running, for, he's lieutenant governor. He's running for governor. He was commenting on porn sites uh, about, he called himself a black Klansman or some shit like that, or a black no neo Nazi. Yeah, and he was going on about uh, all sorts of weird shit. But he's still running for governor. He has not dropped out of that race. Is he? And he's dead serious? It's not like he wore it for a Halloween costume or oh, something? Oh, there he is. I'm a black Nazi. Josh Here you go. Johnson. Nominee for governor. He doesn't disturb comments on a porn forum. Bro, a this, porn forum. Th- oh, so shit. So not even so porn not even, on it. Yeah. He, he wasn't even watching. He goes, let's, let's see what they were talking about this yeah, week it's just, uh, about porn. It's just hope. the porn clubhouse. It's not even where the, where the action is. <laughs> it's like a porn Reddit. First of all, second, this is how I know we're in a simulation, too. Because this is exactly the same as the Dave Chappelle skit. Oh, yeah. Like this oh, is yeah. we're we're in a fucking simulation. There's no chance this is art imitating life. There or he vice is. Versa. Mark Robinson. Unbelievable. Yeah, so, Mark so he's Robinson. so he's on this porn site talking about how he doesn't believe in abortion and he's a black Nazi. So he's like Republican, but even on a porn site. <laughs> what if, <laughs> what, what, so wait, what if he has a ba- a black baby? And is he gonna get it aborted? I, right. I mean, he is a black guy. So, so does he kill like, his own babies? <laughs> Holy shit! What a mind fuck! <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is like well, one of those well. If he's just dream blow- within a dream scenarios, he, he's probably just blowing all his babies in his socks. If he's just on the porn site all the time, so I know. I can but he's still running, dude. He's still running. He's not out of what the race. What percentage of the votes he's getting? I mean, look, at least it's a, a third. very small niche. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, they, dude, there, there right. are some people who will not vote for the other, other party, no matter what. No matter what, no, like, they're they're hard line. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, dude, like 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 if literally there was a video of Kamala Harris, you know, raping a puppy. Yeah, some people, like, some right. Democrats are like, I can't, I can't. She's bring my, not Trump. I can't but she's bring myself to vote for Trump. Yeah, right. <laughs> or same thing with Donald Trump. I mean, people love this guy no matter what he he right. years ago said he'd shoot someone on Fifth Avenue. No, and wild. People vote he says for the wildest shit. And he was right. I mean, well, that's the thing. Like, he's like doing stand up though, which is yeah. Hilarious. I mean, yeah, he's, he's like doing sets and all these podcasts. Yeah. And people are like giving him props. Like, oh, can you believe he went on flagrant? I'm like, yeah, of course I can. Of course. Well, but I, he was, I would have him on here. Like, but he was doing this four years. Like, I remember watching him during the pandemic with my roommate, and we were. I was like, yo, this guy's like doing a new set every night. Every, oh yeah, I mean, every it's, press it's, conference. It's pretty bad off the cuff stuff, but some of his it's bad. Great. Well, I mean, he like, talks in circles, and he, yeah, and he, well, he repeats he repeats himself, himself nonstop. Yeah. It kind of gets getting old. But every now and again, he's got a gem. Oh, dude, one of my favorites when during the debate. When he's like, uh, when the when the moderator is like, you've called women, you know, uh, fat pigs, and he goes, only Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> you refer to women as fat pigs, only <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. Like, perfect timing. I was so like, that good. guy. That's the thing. Sometimes he won that timing debate. Is he amazing. got creamed. He, I mean, he like had no answers. Hillary was like actually like cogent and you know answering stuff, and he was just bombing, bombing, bombing. And that was like in the last ten minutes. That yeah. line, it's all they That'll kept playing. It. You just wanted to debate. Yeah. You just need a closer. Yeah, you, just, yeah, yeah, you, you one can bomb strong for thirty closer. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you just need a strong yeah. just closer. Close You're strong. Good. Just close yeah. strong. Just close strong. Yeah. <laughs> Only Rosie O'Donnell. I'll do twenty-five shitty minutes, but I have a good impression at <laughs> yeah, the end. Yeah, I have a I'll good crush. three minutes at the end, though. You gotta, mm-hmm. gotta hang on with me for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about catching a stray in front of the whole country. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Poor God. Rosie. Just, Poor Rosie. What a stray. I mean, she. She kind of puts herself in position for that shit, though. She, she, has, a lot of these people yeah. like it's weird that like people have comments and then get offended when some of the comments on you. You know, right. Trump does it a lot. Speaking of which, like he gets upset when like people badmouth him, but he badmouths other. It's like, listen, right. if you're in the it business, goes both ways. Yeah, if you you're in the business, if you're in the skin. public eye, get ready to get it thrown at you. Like, of course, you know, like. But some people are like, oh, you know, can you believe they said that? Yeah, I, yeah. I can believe they said that. <laughs> yeah, right. fucking grow up. Yeah, dude, he uh, he's got to be able to dish it or take it if he's going to dish it out. Yeah, and look, I I, I don't mind the guy at all. Like, be you know, be, being the star of The Apprentice or whatever. It's just goofy when the fucking president becomes like a bigger topic than like when I was a kid. With you remember? Do we ever talk about Bill Clinton? Never. Day day? Never. Did not care. It was boring. Dude. Now you now you got Bob like, Dole ran for for fucking for president. No one cared. No one gave a shit. Yeah, like, no one, Especially it, when you were younger. Now you got kids that are 11, 12 years old that are like indoctrinated by their parents. I'm assuming because they. Like, like have a, oh, a yeah, an yeah, opinion yeah. about shit. Well, I mean that's a, a lot. I of, was blowing up GI Joes when that I was that oh, age. Yeah, like dude, I, exactly. I was pulling the heads <laughs> off my sister's Barbies and yeah, shit. Yeah, raising hell in the neighborhood, fucking you know, right. trying to steal candy from the store or something. Yeah, but I mean that it's it's weird. It's, I think it's a personality thing, honestly. Like I think just it's it's kind of like religion. Like you know, I was born and raised Catholic. I didn't choose it. Right. You know, Same. I was I was just, yeah, it's just yeah. one of those things like. Jewish people don't choose to be Jewish, like. But if you're raised in a Jewish household, it kind of you know the culture rubs off on you. Yeah. If you're raised in a Republican household, 
ninety nine percent chance you're going to be Republican. It's going to you know, revolve. You know what I'm saying? Like unless you move out and you know, if and I was go raised a by a black city. family, I'd sound like a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> Similar. You know, like it's, it's just you know, if I was Mark raised, Robinson would shun you. Know, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would get the fuck. Mark out Robinson of here. would abort me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of those things. Like, it's just like it's kind of a cultural thing. Like, oh, if you're raised in the South, you're going to be, you know, most likely Republican. Odds are, for sure. Um, and you're not going to change anyone's mind. So why do we even try? I, that's a great. It's, it's, I think about this all the time. It seems like a lot of effort. Like, hey, I want you to like what I like. It's like, no. How about you like what you like, and right. I like what I like. It's wasted effort. Yeah, it really. That's yeah, the, the conversation's not going anywhere. No. I've had fucking Uber drivers trying to, you know, oh, you know this. It's Kamala, she's letting him over the border. And I'm like, yeah, because you're really taking your job, Uber driver. <laughs> it's like, bro, I got three minutes to yeah, get to my destination like, like, bro, to go I'm, drink. Yeah. Are you hitting me I'm with high. It? I'm trying to put my earbuds in and listen <laughs> yeah. to this podcast. I'm not trying to talk to you. you know, like. I got into an Uber the other day that had a, uh, a MAGA hat right in the console, like facing to the back. I'm like, this guy's just waiting for me to ask oh, a question. Yeah. He's just waiting for me. I'm not biting. No, that's, that's what it is this day and age. I mean, like, you'll see that with the Kamala sign up front or... You know, I stand with this. It's like, I don't, I don't fucking stand for shit. I sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stand with any. I stand with myself and my own personal interest. Right. But I it, mean, that's it, what, what it boils down. you into it. Like, of course. That's the thing about the hat. Like, oh, people find it offensive. I was like, I don't even notice it. It's just a red hat. It's, it. it's an ugly red hat with bad lettering. Also, you know? it has a saying on it that's supposed to be positive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually kind of fucked up. When you think about it. So first of all, Make America Great Again was actually Ronald Reagan's campaign slogan. So it's not even Seriously? original. Seriously? I swear to God. Wow. And he's just using it again. So it's make America a great again, again. Again, again. But also they claim to love this country. Like, oh, this is the best country in the world. But then you're saying make it great again. So right. is it you're... shit now? Or are you going to make it better? Lot of or is it already it was the terrible. best? And you're going to make it like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it should be like make America better. You know, right. yeah, <laughs> it, should really be, it should really be this. Yeah, yeah. it's just not as catchy. Make America the bestesis. The... the, the... <laughs> The best system there ever was. You know, something. It's, right. it's, 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 it's implying that it was shit and you're making it better. Yeah. You know, but great marketing, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's created a brand that's like. Well, I mean, that's his genius. He, he, yeah. he invents nothing, just repurposes everything. Exactly. You know, and, and there is some, <laughs> some genius to be said for that. I mean, like, people get down on him. I, I think he doesn't know shit about the world. I mean, he's definitely not a well read guy, Trump. No. Uh, but he's obviously a media genius. I mean, like, the yeah. guy gets billions of dollars of free coverage. Because he's interesting to watch. He knows how to. You know, nobody knows wants how to, to talk, talk to, to fucking Tim people. Walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, no one's kicking down his door to get a conversation yeah, yeah, going. No. You know, but Donald Trump's good for a soundbite, so they're always going to get a microphone in his face for sure. You know, which is, I mean, he probably kept CNN in business for years. Um, oh, dude, they were because uh, you <laughs> turn there, there could be a natural disaster going made, on in the country. They made you turn more there, money when he was president than they've ever made before. 100%. They should be kissing his fucking yeah, ass. Seriously. And, and, and then reason, when he wasn't, the ratings were down. They didn't know what to talk about. I know. Well, that's the thing. They pretend that they don't like. That's the funny thing. Like. Being antagonistic towards him was their what they were like, kind of the uh, liberal heel, you know, like yeah. they, like like they were disliked by the Republicans, so they they cornered that market, so like Republicans will watch them in anger. Right. It's kind of you know it's like, it's like how how uh, liberals will watch like Fox News in anger. You're know, like I want to see what they're gonna say next. You know? Right. It's like whatever as long as you're watching. You know? As long as you're watching. <laughs> yeah, we don't give a shit what they're you believe. They're programming you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. We don't give a shit what your beliefs are. We're trying to count these stacks. That's you know? it. Yeah. They don't care. It's it's funny because I I tend to fl I'll flip between both mm -hmm. just to see where they're at like and what they're yeah, going yeah, on. Because I'm I'm extremely middle of the road. Like you said, I could give a fuck. I'm yeah. worried about making myself better, making the people around me yeah, better. Yeah, all you can handle. They're yeah. all gonna lie to us in the end anyway. Oh, I don't trust any of these people. So it's funny to see the different talking points and how they're going off of one versus oh, yeah. the other. And then you see two different sides where they they agree and you don't know. Like I'll watch some Bill Maher and then I'll watch some I love Tuck Bill Maher. Then I'll watch Tucker Carlson. Yeah. And they both, oddly enough, they hate each other, but they agree on more like shit than they things. think. It's yeah. kind of funny. Well, the interesting thing for me is, it, 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 I agree with you on that. Like, what they agree on is interesting to see, like, oh, you know, Congress shouldn't let, be allowed to insider trade. They both agree with that. I'm like, oh, right. that's interesting. Yeah. Freedom of speech. Yeah, freedom of things speech. Things like that. Things like that. But what's interesting is what they leave out. Oh, yeah. Like, they, would just, like, oh, they yeah. just won't talk about a topic if it's mm -hmm. not good for them. You know? Like, they're certainly spin. You know, like, they're trying to ban There's IVF. A... You don't see that anywhere on Fox News. Yeah, like, no, not at all. Nowhere on Fox News. All right. over CNN. You're, like, trying to ban IVF in Arkansas and Alabama and, you know, all these states. They that, don't even uh, bring it up. They don't, but they, but they don't bring it up. And then, like, yeah. you know, there's just, there literally it has been, I think, what, like, an extra almost 9 million immigrants that have come to the country just Fucking under crazy. Biden's administration. That's a fact. I saw, like, a... I didn't believe it. I was like, wow, that's a lot. But I saw like a bar chart from like the Census Bureau, like Jeez. from our own government. So yeah, it wasn't like, yeah, yeah. it was like, oh, here's, you know, here's a poll from Fox News contributors. Right. No, it was like a you know, Census Bureau. Guy. It's like, wow, something like like eight to nine million extra migrants have, have moved to the country since Biden took office. 
And it's just a bar chart. It's like twice, you know. And <laughs> believe it or not, Obama was actually the worst at throwing out illegal immigrants. He has, he's the world yeah. champ at kicking out immigrants. He is. Like Donald Trump doesn't hold a candle to Barack Obama <laughs> throwing out immigrants, which is the funniest thing. But they don't talk about that either. Oddly enough, he's also the, the, the drone king too. He's yeah, oh the, my yeah. God. He, he, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's, they stopped sending in the military and just started sending missiles. Yeah, like, it's wild. Yeah, well, when was, you really read about he, it, he kind of used the mafia edict of you know the, the, uh, the only good witness is a dead witness. Just kill everyone. <laughs> just blow the whole party up. Like it, you know, okay, is he there? Right. We'll see. We you don't know. know. We'll sift through the rubble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His body we, probably yeah probably, <laughs> we probably got him. Yeah, we probably. We think we got him. Think we got him. <laughs> but yeah, they just won't talk about like they won't talk about the border stuff. Right. And it's th- that's what's interesting is, is the selective uh, choice to not show something. Because I feel yeah. like you, they're not necessarily lying about shit. They're no, but, leaving oh, but shit lying out. Lying by omission, dude. They lie. Lying by omission. That's, how, that's good, how, that, good point. That's how I lie to women, dude. I, I don't lie directly. <laughs> I just don't tell you what you don't need to know. Exactly. You know that, that those are the lies no I tell. Basis. But those, but but I mean, when you're talking about you know the entire government and you know politicians, what, what you don't know is what you need to know. You know, like yeah, like we, we all know Donald Trump's a narcissist and that he's you know self interested and and Kamala's weird and robotic. Like we know that. What don't I know about these people? Yeah. You know, like that's what you want to know. Well, that's what I was hoping. And like kind of RFK would get in because he was gonna yeah. he was gonna uh, open up the JFK files. He'd probably tell us if aliens were real. I wanted to know some shit that we don't really need to know, but we want to know. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? you, know what, his, you know his what's going on at Bohemian Grove? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, let's, let me get, let's let me find get, out let me get the shit. video of that. Yeah. Do you know his uh, his father Bobby uh, stopped prosecuting the mob after he was convinced that the mafia had something to do with his brother's death? Seriously, they, they have um, transcripts from like the Oval Office because they've recorded everything. You know, yeah, there. and. Uh, yeah, he was. He felt responsible because he was prosecuting the mafia, and they and there was rumors that they were involved. So he, he just felt personally responsible that he, because he was oh, trying to be, you know, uh, you know, Mister J- John Q. Fucking Law. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they they killed him. So so even his father, like even even Kennedy's brother, n- thinks that Oswald didn't do it. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you know what I mean? like, yeah. So I'd lo- I'd love to have. That. So yeah, where, where was they should have had RFK on? Like, what do you know? Who do you think killed you? Killed your? I think father, he's already bro- said it. And, and, uh, uncle- I think he said the CIA did it. Yeah, see? This is what he's saying, but I mean... Yeah. It makes sense As to soon me. as he tries to unredact some papers, he's going to get killed. So, I mean, what do you... What do you I, do? I've said it before, dude. They, 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 you get elected president, and they pull you in a room and say, all right, this is what you can and can't say. Right. You know, like Donald Trump tried, and they were like, no. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's some random interview. You can't interview. release that stuff. He's like, oh, fuck, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't, yeah there's yeah. a random interview with him and some guy, and uh, he was like, listen, I can't tell you about JFK, because if, if I did, if you knew what I knew, you wouldn't tell anybody either. That's what he yeah. said. I'm like, oh shit. Well, that's the thing. If you tell, you're the next yeah. one. Your head's gonna look like his. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> that's it. You can get off real easy. Do you know Jackie uh, climbed off the back, like when she like crawled into the back of the hood of that car in uh, Dealey Plaza when yeah, that yeah. clipped? But she she actually reached out and grabbed a piece of his brain. Damn. It was on the trunk, and she was like, like, oh, in case the doctors need it. And I'm like, I, once the, the brain's in the outside, they put they it. they can't reattach brains. Oh, man. <laughs> You gotta appreciate. Yeah, look, it, look. She's reaching for you, a piece of his fucking you, skull. You gotta love her though. Even on her on his deathbed, she was she was willing to give some brain. She's you know uh, what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Even on that's a down ass bitch right there. The bullets yeah. are flying. She's that's looking a, to give some head. That's a right end. That's a right end die chick. <laughs> <laughs> They're still firing shots. If she's, yeah. she's trying to give, give you some head. For One her. last time. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> that's wild though, I man. I know, man. I know, but uh, but apparently they're both it's fucking around each other. A real a real modern love. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, it was probably easier to get away with, too. Well, that's the you thing. Back I mean? then, the whole, all of the press corps knew he was a philanderer. Yeah. But they're like, ah, you know, it's it's impolite it's to talk like, about that publicly. Right, right. You, know, like, you didn't talk, you about, don't talk about the president's philandering. No. You, know? you, you, know, you want to hold up the office ask, of the president. You, know? you didn't even ask people who they were voting for back in the day. Oh, no, it was a fucking was sin, like, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You don't talk about religion and politics. Yeah. It was all it was all real pleasant. Dude, I didn't, my, I said it before on the podcast months ago. I didn't know my grandparents were like hardcore Republicans until recently. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't even know if my grandparents were. I just know they were Polish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Polish and Catholic. Like, yeah, uh, well, it turns out the only, the only, uh, the only uh, Democrat they ever voted for was Kennedy because he was Irish Catholic, yeah, like they were. Probably that was the it. same. That, that was, was it. it. You know, I was like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, it's man. wild, man. I, I don't know. I feel like running for office, I kind of want, you know what I really want? I want, like, I want to run for Congress. But I want one of those bullshit seats, like the AOC seat <laughs> or the or the Lauren Boebert seat. Like, like, you, like how do these like the, where you can just be on a committee? And, yeah, and well, talk shit. well, we can be crazy and they still put you in. The, yeah, like, like I don't know what seat 
Marjorie Taylor Greene got, but I want that seat. How did she win that? That's what, what I'm saying. What is the name of her title? Do you know what her title is? Uh, sh- Marjorie Taylor Greene is just a, a U.S. Congressman, a U.S. Representative. Congressman. But I want to know what district. you got to find like a deadbeat district. Yeah. There's like 400 and something, like 450 some odd or 80 something Congress. What, what do you go, like South Dakota or something? Where do you go? That's the thing. I, I think that's that's the key. you got to find <laughs> the cushy market. <laughs> right. You know, like where can I slide my where, fat ass in? Where have people not heard somebody speak coherently in a while? <laughs> <laughs> Where, yeah. where can I just use proper addiction and they'll and they'll yeah, exactly. they go, yeah, the yeah. number one? I'm not to use Facebook lost? ads. Where can I win using Facebook ads? Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck lost to Marjorie Taylor Greene? That's I know. I like <laughs> That's the thing. Dude, Who's we that used to, sad sack I, of shit. I'll, I'll He's in his living room. I lost to her. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking lost to her. <laughs> he probably doesn't even realize it. Uh, hey, He's sipping his dinner out of Lipton. A lighter? I think Dude, I forgot the bottle opener. It reminds me of. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll crack another one. All Reminds right, me, I, I was Saturday I, night, baby. I, I got nothing going on. Hell yeah, I was uh, playing basketball in college, and one of my teammates he used to wear the wildest fucking gear, right? Yeah. Like I'm talking like full Fubu, green and yellow, bright Fubu uh, outfit. Fubu. So you're my age. Like that, big, that, that, you, yeah, you, you, yeah. You've your age Hell right yeah. there. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm not he'd, alone come, in this. he'd come in a locker room, this bright green and yellow Fubu outfit with matching green and yellow Air Force Ones. So they used to fuck with him because he also used to be a cheerleader, right? So he a male actually, cheerleader. A, male a lot cheerleader. of male cheerleaders in comedy. This is, a, this is my boy, though, like because yeah. we, we both walked on the team at the same time. Like we, He was hilarious. He's one of the funniest dudes ever met. Still my friend to this day. So he goes in, takes a shower, and these other dudes hang up his entire outfit in the middle of the locker room. Even Velcro his Air Force Ones to the bottom of the, the pants, right? <laughs> he comes out the locker room. He goes, oh, man, fuck you guys, man. Fuck this. That's fucked up. One guy comes up to him, my other friend, he goes, Young, Rob, he's from D.C. He's like, Young, Young, we, we got one question, Young. We just, we not even mad at you. We just want to know who was your friend that was with you when you bought this shit. <laughs> That's who. That's who fucked up. You who friend let you rock this <laughs> you walk, shit? Walk you walk out, out of the store fucking... this bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It is true. Yeah. Like who the fuck let this happen? I know. Like, Dude, who the fuck, fa- fuck let Lauren Boebert win? Well, that's what I'm saying, man. Like I want that cushy seat because you know I think I think if you do like two terms and a, a term is two years. If you do two terms, I think you're like entitled to like a lifetime pension from the. Yeah, you get like free health insurance and shit. No, but for they the also give you like a life. fucking salary. What? They're, yeah, dude, you get like you get like one hundred twenty thousand dollars for the rest of your life a year. For the rest of your life. What are we doing telling wisecracks on a stage? I know, right? I, that's what I'm saying, man. Get, I'm trying to get famous enough to get a I congressman could, seat. I could, yeah, I could put in like I could put in yeah, you know, the four here. years in Idaho in Boise. Yeah, they vote for their own benefits. Oh, there's gotta be. That, oh that, no, no, that seems that seems fair and logical. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, they have to oh, vote on their own salary. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I vote a raise. <laughs> right. It's like I used to. Who's turning that down? Uh, I graduated with a degree in pharmaceutical marketing, so I was supposed to be a. Oh, so you, actually, rep, okay, right? so you got a you got a job. Now, yeah, yeah. So I was supposed to be a pharmaceutical. I'm talking about the, talking about the evil empire. The pharmaceutical yeah, empire. tell me about. it. I'm so glad I never did it though, because they started regulating themselves. They're like, yeah, we we you know we put all these regulations in. You can't take doctors out to you know uh, baseball games anymore. Can't pay for their dinners to an extent. Can't yeah. pay for their gas. And I was like, oh, so the government regulated? They're like, no, 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 the pharma company is regulating it. Oh, yeah. I'm like, well, well, what fucking sense does that make? Well, so they, they want to regulate themselves so someone else doesn't. That's exactly yeah. right. So they put on these little limits so that somebody else doesn't come in and, and look at the yeah, shit Yeah, look that at us. Doing. You know, we're yeah. we're going to put ourselves we're on probation. Care of it. Yeah. yeah. We're going to put ourselves on probation. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punish myself. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> 86K pension? 86K a year. After, it, 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 I can live off of that in Idaho. But, but also full fucking better. I mean, like, oh yeah, you're not really paying dude, for two shit. terms is four years. I mean, like, that's nothing. I'll be, you know, and an extra eighty six grand for nothing. 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 But also, the big thing is though, once you actually get uh, a seat in Congress, they often have you become like a, a lot of those guys. At become, least sixty two. Yeah, sixty two. Well, when you, oh, when they start paying it out. Yeah. Yeah, but they. Uh, what happens is, is once you're in Congress, and you leave. All the lobbying firms want to hit you up because uh, yeah. they like, oh, because you, you have connections to other companies. Yeah, you, know so you can lobby for this thing. Like, so you know, I was going to work for some, you know, for the pharmaceutical lobby, making you know work half a million dollars a year, not doing shit. You work for the FDA. Yeah, exactly. You work yeah, for exactly. whoever. The revolving just, door. Yep. I mean, I don't know how many guys on Wall Street. Oh, you know, I worked at the SEC, then came back, and then went back. Like, right. You, you, the SEC regulates Wall Street. It's like, of course, they're not going to fucking. You, know, you used to work for Goldman Sachs. Now you're regulating Goldman Sachs, right. and then you're going to go back to Goldman Sachs. Like, <laughs> no, no one's. <laughs> this doesn't seem odd to yeah, anyone. Right. This, is, this, this is... doesn't seem illogical at all. Yeah. The no, no collusion whatsoever. It's I know. Just, yeah. Well, I mean, they're all scumbags. But that's the thing. I, I gotta, I gotta find a good scam to get involved in. That, that's know. my, that's my new thing. 
a good scam? What yeah, do, I mean, I, I, missed, so I missed the boat on Bitcoin and, and crypto. I don't understand it. Yeah, too. I didn't believe it. How about there, the NFTs? You get it on there the There was NFTs? a hot moment about NFTs. I looked at it. I was like, how the fuck do you, what does this even mean? I was like, so wait, I can just screenshot this and then it's mine? They're like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. It's the original. I go, I think I do it's understand. A, yeah, it's the original <laughs> digital one. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, but how do I get to that? Well, just send I it mean, to me. Whoever whoever the guy was that invented Bored Apes, remember those things? Yeah, those NFTs? yeah my buddy bought a couple of them. <laughs> uh, well, I hope he sold them right away because they, they, were, they, were, they went through the roof. Yeah. But then what's his name? One of the Paul brothers bought one. He bought it for like $6 million. It was worth like 40000 Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> he took a bath on it. I mean, Fuck he's so it. wealthy, it doesn't matter. But yeah. like, I mean, he's got a Pokemon card that's worth more than that, so I'm sure he'll Oh, yeah, sure I saw he wears it into a wrestling ring, right? Yeah, it's fucking wild. Are you a big wrestling fan? Um, I was when I was younger. Okay. Like uh, I used to go to Monday Night Raw and shit all the time, dude. How old? Fucking high five, Brett, Brett the Hitman Hart one how time. How old was that? What, what like years was like, How old are you? Actually? Middle school, high school. I'm 42. I'm about your age. Okay. Okay. Yeah, middle yeah. school and high school. Oh, so even th- that late. Yeah. Because I liked, I liked the, uh, you know, the Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant. Like when I was, but I was Oh, small. those are the glory days. I was like five or six, seven. I was the Ultimate Warrior guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking, oh, he dude, was the best. The Ultimate Warrior and the Macho Man Randy Savage. I don't know how they let them on TV. Dude, the best. On Saturday mornings. These two guys <laughs> fucked up on steroids and cocaine. I mean, the, the coke of out of their minds. And they're they like, let's put him on camera and let yeah. him talk to let's children. Let's interview him. Yeah. <laughs> you know when the gods come down from on high. I'm like, Just dude, the pouring fucking sweat. veins popping out everywhere. Those Just two were so amazing. Blown out. There was one. There was one fucking interview. I remember Randy Randy Savage had his back to the camera. Mean Gene Oakland's got a mic in his face, and he's got his back to the camera the whole interview. Yeah, and I'm like, I've never seen this on TV. Who turns their back on the camera? He's like, Mean Gene, and he's, and he's got his talking. back to the camera. And Gene's over here. Because yeah. <laughs> like, his pupils were probably like, yeah, fucking thing is, he's probably got a bloody nose. Yeah, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> he's probably got a nosebleed. He don't want to turn around. <laughs> Mean Gene. That's why he always had those fucking sunglasses on, man. Oh, yeah. Dude, they were the best, man. The fact that they didn't, like, die in the ring. I know. Well, that's the thing about it. I mean, every, uh, look, everyone knew it was fake, but it was obviously a- athletic and acrobatic. Right. You know, like, people go to the fucking Cirque du Soleil. They don't say, that's fucking fake. Yeah. yeah it's a fucking, it's not of actual, so, like, it's a performance. You yeah, know, like, it's a it's show. It's performance art. They're yeah. some of the greatest actors of our time. Yeah. Let's I, be honest. Yeah, I mean, look, it, yeah, it's, it's basically Broadway for 14-year-olds. Yeah. You know, like, for, for, you know, for kids all jacked up on... T- I mean, there's some dudes that are in their Mountain 40s Duke. that are definitely still... <laughs> well, those guys are the questionable guys. You know, I mean, it's, 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 yeah. I get it if there's some nostalgia, but if you're still into the storyline at 46, it's like, come on, bro. Dude, I heard some you crazy know, shit that... Do but... like Mark Robinson, get on a porn forum and start talking... <laughs> And start talking about Act the, like an adult for once. Yeah, like start commenting course. on Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, start a community group on a, on a porn forum. <laughs> Stop looking at these dudes running around in Speedos. <laughs> I heard some wild shit though. The Rick Rick Rubin, the music producer, yeah. he's a huge wrestling fan. I bet. I like, bet. Watches a lot of those it guys nonstop. Are. I'm like, this seems so 180 from everything you do in terms of art and. Yeah, I guess. I, but that's the thing. Like, all of us need a guilty pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, fucking, uh, not every, dude, I, I like fucking Love Island UK. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, 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 99% of my TV watching is like documentaries or, you know, real time with Bill Maher. You know, right, so right. Love Island UK, though? Yeah, but they, like, that drops that drops at the end of the summer. I'm like, yo, I got to watch my Love Island UK. Why the UK? You that's like the fucked up teeth? No, no, no. <laughs> no, that was the original one. I got into oh, it during shit, the, I, it? I, I, I got into it during the pandemic. My, uh, my roommate uh, put me onto it. He's like, hey, someone's telling me this is a good show, you know. They got like eight seasons out, and there's fucking forty episodes a season. We got nothing oh, but time. Yeah. You want to start watching? I'm like, yeah, throw one on. Yeah, yeah you it can was that shit. Great, because the early seasons. So now, if those that don't know, Love on UK is basically just uh, it's a dating game essentially, where you they have people like you know ten five guys, five girls on an island, and they just keep bringing new hot people and right. try and break up the relationships yeah. over and over and over again. So it causes drama. It's fantastic. It's brilliant, brilliant, easy. <laughs> but there's no TV. They're all trapped in the house. They can't go anywhere else. And in the first three seasons, they gave them unlimited booze and cigarettes. Oh, Lord. So they were just drunk from noon till night, yeah. getting into fights and arguments. And I was like, this is great. But then once the show took off after like the second season, like, oh, shit, the production value, value went up. You know, the popularity went up. They're like, oh, man, we got to, you know, it went from like, you know, some obscure time slot to like a main time slot. They got to rein it in. So now it's a little more formulaic. So, so what, they took the booze away? Yeah, they they're only allowed two drinks a day. That's fucked. That's fucked, right? It's probably boring. Uh, it's it's still interesting, but it's not what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these fucking mokes. Is this a new Jesus one? Jesus Christ! I, I mean, some the of them age, are attractive. The age some, limit. One on of them looks is. like fucking Ronnie from the Jersey Shore. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say that cast, he think. really does. Okay. 
Yeah, they really got it. Oh, yeah, that is season one. Oh, shit. Would you go on one of these? No, not this age. No, I know what? better now. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your age limit for going on a show like this? Uh, I mean, I, you know what's funny? If they had like an over 40 fucking Love Island, I would do it. <laughs> The golden, I would start the golden island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The golden yeah. oh, love island, oh, the golden years. Over the island. <laughs> <laughs> over the hill island. I would do it now and just fuck with people. I know. Like, yeah, what are you no, doing exactly. over here, old man? Well, I, I would know it works on TV. Just start right, exactly, shit, you know? exactly. Just get as much TV time as you can. You That's just, what's really about. I want to get just, my Instagram following up. You know, I want to get that influencer money. Right. Know? Also, you're you're more intelligent these than these, these fucking, fucking jumbos, idiots. Yeah. So you can just game the whole system and end up winning it. Oh yeah, well that, that's my because fear. you one just thought it out. Some of these people like actually run it like that. Like one guy, I remember, um, anytime he had dirt, he would air it out. Mm. So he would like start the fight, you know, and they'd be like, "What are you talking about?" Like, I'm just being honest. He like play like I'm, you know, I don't like lying to people. Right. So he looked. Like, he's to make a good look guy. Good. He's so a good guy. Everyone would always be arguing. He wouldn't be the one arguing. Oh hell yeah! He's so just he creating like, chaos. Yeah, he like he creating chaos and sitting on the island the whole. Because <laughs> you have to stand. You have to get vote, like they vote out couples every week. Yeah. But no one would vote him out because he like the producers like we can't have him out. He's one. He's the most popular guy in the fucking right. show. So even so you know like. This is it's not like the Academy Awards where like, you know, the fucking Deloitte and Touche is, is auditing or, you know, the results. It, it's like, you know, call in here and text your vote here. Right. And I'm sure the Bruce like they, they can't manipulate they, that at all. Not getting rid of our, you no. know, our most popular character. Fuck this. Here's who's Fuck going that. out this week and they just write in like, Exactly. No one's auditing. Or that. I've I've actually seen this on other ones. They'll get voted off and they'll bring them back later yes. in the show. Yes. Which is you knew what happened. He was the most popular one. Oh yeah. Nobody liked him. Yeah. Well, they, they him do on, on, they'll do that in uh, Love Island. That'd be yeah. like the most famous guest. I want to see like, a, like an All Stars though, but from other shows. Ooh. Right, yeah. Get get some real world stars. Get right, some, get some Jersey some, Shore. Right, and put them on Love Island. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> the Jersey Shore cast. I don't not not anymore. But back in the day, they used to fight, fight. The Jersey Shore. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. I they mean, were, Rodney knocked out, and out shit. a few people on the show. Yeah. And they didn't it's call the cops. Great. Like like <laughs> like the cops. He, he got arrested one of the times. But like a lot of times, he just fought guys. And the production <laughs> staff were like, "Hey, you're not gonna call the cops on their own guy." You know? Right. Right. It's like hustle them out of there. I got in an argument with uh, one of the Jersey Shore chicks at a club in Philly. Really? Which one? It was. Which club or which girl? Which girl? <laughs> I think her name was Angela or something, or Angelica. Oh yeah, yeah. She yeah. wasn't. She wasn't Snooky or or. No, yeah, she was. She was. She was on the first and second season. Then she got. She went home, and now she's back on. Yeah. So yeah. we were at this after hours club, and I remember I was fucking hammered. Like yeah. I have no off switch, so if shit goes till four a.m., I'm yeah. staying out till four a.m. Right. So we get there, and I'm like, they're making this big deal about her at this table, and I wanted to get the table over here, and they were like, no, what's her name? Has this? I'm like, who is the fuck? Who is that? They were like, oh, she's on the Jersey Shore. I was like, I never fucking seen her. I was like, who the fuck is this? She goes, fuck you, man. You don't. This. So we start going back and forth. I was like, nobody knows who you are. <laughs> nobody, know, nobody cares. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah, terrible. Is that, is that Snooky? No, that I don't know the fuck uh, that is. Fuck yeah. is. Yeah. Come on. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, that's got to hurt too, man. Like when you're the B list on the on the Jersey Shore, when yeah. you're not even like the, in the main cast, when you're like the fringes, you're like Dina. <laughs> yeah, Dina. <laughs> you're like, like, like oh, the fringe right. characters. Dina. Forgot about her. She replaced that woman. That's right. But that woman's back now. She's back? Well, they have a Jersey Shore family reunion. It's like Angela or Angie. Jesus. What's her fucking name? Yeah, what's the name of the cast? Fucking joke's on me, though, because she's probably making like 20 grand oh, I mean, on appearance. They're all, oh, they're making more They, than they that, just dude. show up somewhere. Dude, it's Paulie like the, D's it's the, the smartest one of a lot. Dude, Paulie D, oh. be, he's making $20 million a year being a DJ. It's it. just an excuse to make appearances. Yeah. He's, he's not spinning any records. He's just he's, fucking... Yeah. He's, he's hitting just, the button. Yeah, I got Spotify, too. Yeah, give me $750,000 to show up here, and I'll come up. Right. Yeah, there's Dina. Uh, what's her name? Uh, check season one Dina, Jersey Shore right. cast, and it's gonna be Angel it was Angelina. 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 There it is. There she is. Yeah. They, yeah. She. They all had so much work. Done I was they just about to worse. say she looked like a completely different person back then. I know. <laughs> this they look way like two, worse. 2010. Jesus. I mean, her face. She's got like two mustaches for eyebrows. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, they're probably painted on or tattooed on. I mean, it's Mike. Wild. The situation did some time. Yeah, he did. Yep. Oh, did Do you think he's still sober? Uh, probably. Yeah, he probably. kept it going. Money he got Hollywood married. Now. There's a lot of people making money in Hollywood being sober. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Everybody's sober. A lot of comedians sober, I fucking too. I've had enough of it. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm good. Right. Please. I mean, trust me, I've thought about yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Do it. It's best for your life, but uh, you know, life's tough and I want to enjoy it, you know? Yeah. Being sober and like, you know, feeling, you know, uh, feeling 
superior to other people because of that. This doesn't it doesn't interest me. It I is like, also the pressure. I like wallowing in the mud. Something has that much control, <laughs> right? You, know, you, you can't appreciate the good times if you don't have the times in your face down in a bush somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to be able to appreciate whatever the fucking down like, times. Yeah, life, life's too we short to cover. fucking not have a drink. <laughs> Three days of self-loathing, you know, I'll be fine. Yeah, dude, a small drug problem. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just oh minor, my God. Just a little touch of drug problem. Right. Just a little dabble, do you? You know, sometimes that sets you straight. You know, too many drinks, you get it. You get, <laughs> little a bump get, little bump will get you home. That's the best on the drug. <laughs> no, man, my favorite is mushrooms, dude. Mm. I just ran out. I got to get some. That's, that's one of my favorite things guy. moving out to the West Coast. Yeah, so do I. I actually, you I was going to say, I have. Oh, you, I'm sure you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out here in California, man. It, they're hard to get back guy. east. They're hard to get back to mushrooms. I was going to try to ship some back to my friend. I was like, this is oh, probably not a good I've idea. I've done that. Yeah? Yeah, dude. Gummies or the actual mushrooms? Uh, the actual mushrooms. Dude, the U.S. Postal Service is the biggest drug dealer that, in the world. I've heard this. I mean, <laughs> I, I've, mailed, dude, I've mailed drugs to Beirut, Lebanon. Seriously? Shout out Beirut, Lebanon. You're under bombs right now. Hell yeah. yeah sorry about that. <laughs> Send you some bomb mushrooms. That's the thing. <laughs> I, but, but you're right, dude. Everybody out here has. So I, I bought like a, I got a great deal on a fucking pound of like these penis oh, envy nice. mushrooms, right? Nice. And I mean, how often am I fucking... Going, yeah, they don't go bad. deep. Like, yeah. oh, I'll microdose a little bit with gummies, but I'm not going to Joshua Tree every weekend. Yeah. So I hit up some friends. I was like, hey, I got a bunch. Do you want to buy some? Or I'll give you a huge, great discount. Like, they're just sitting in my fridge. Everybody's like, oh, no, I got too many. I'm trying to give them away. <laughs> what? What? That's what remember, me, dude. remember in I like our 20s? Of weed in my house it was right so now. hard to find mushrooms. Do you really? <laughs> dude, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. I wish man. I smoked. I don't smoke. Like, like back, fucking back east, like, you know, especially when I was growing up when it was illegal. Yeah. I was like, oh, you know, I get some weed from the weed man. And you're just like, you know, it was just a price, ten, twenty, or fifty dollars. Right. You know, what kind of weed is it? Weed, motherfucker. It's just weed. weed. Just weed. It's yeah. Dirt. Like, whatever whatever right. whatever style of weed I got. And I can smoke a blunt to the head yeah. and still be fine and function. Yeah, and now you got nah. like a thousand types of weed. My buddy grows it up north. I have two buckets, each with two pounds in it. I probably smoked a pound of it and gave away a, smoked and gave away a pound. I got it uh on Christmas yeah. of last year. Damn. You think fucking four pounds, and I, you know, I smoke every night at the, at the end of the night. Smoke you know? every day, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, usually, usually after work, uh, you know, I go home, go home, get high, and, you know, do yeah. my errands, go to the gym, whatever. Um, but before you go to the gym, oh yeah, always before. The gym. Oh shit, always before. The How gym. does that go? Great, dude. It's great yeah. workout. Yeah, man, get a work. focused. Well, you're focused. You're also like, you know, you you have a head high, but your body still works, right? It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like you're drinking, your body feels weird. That's your body a good feels point. Great. Yeah. You don't need the steam room or the sauna after it. Fucking oh, that's that. probably the great, best. Dude. That's a good point. Maybe you're nice and relaxed. Right. Right. That's what I did, I did this morning. You know, All right, maybe, maybe. Weekends, see, weekends. I, I fuck up and I smoke and you go out in public and I'm like, this is a ter- <laughs> terrible idea. This is the worst idea I've ever had. Yeah. And then I go home. I was out. I hadn't smoked in like maybe nine months, and I was out with somebody at a bunch of friends at a bar, and we were drinking. It was indoor outdoor, and she breaks out a joint. She's like, "You want some?" I'm like, "Fuck it." I'm like pretty drunk. Like yeah. this will even me out a little bit. I take two hits. I'm sitting there for like ten minutes. I got up and I go, "Guys, I apologize. I need to Irish exit." <laughs> you let them know. They, they no, go, really yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was the thing. The one guy goes, "You know, it's not an Irish exit if you tell everybody." I go, "Either way, I'm getting the fuck out of here." <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> way, way too high. Yeah, couldn't I handle mean, it. That's the thing, though. Mushrooms out here, weed out here. Everyone's got it. Everyone's got. So it. I got three fucking pounds of weed. I, I, I got a bunch of boys back east. I'll take it. Yeah. Like, but I, was, I, I offered, like, hey, you guys want to, you guys want an ounce or something? And I got, it. I got plenty at the house. I was like, fuck, man. I got all this weed stacked up. I literally got two drums of two. Where, papers, where was this in like weed. in like early two thousands when, when when I was, I was smoking every day? Years old in college. Yeah. And I'm like <laughs> fucking scraping the resin <laughs> off of off of the. Uh, the grinder oh, the trying grinder. to get high. I'm like, dude, we fuck. used to save the roaches in the back ashtray yes. of my friend's car, yes. and then when we ran out, you and scraped it was, them all into was one. Dry, blunt. We'd yeah. scrape it in. It was the strongest fucking blunt though. Oh, all yeah. the resin was yeah, in the yeah, bottom you get of it. So high off you get that. So fucked, dude. Yesterday I cleaned my. This is so funny. We mentioned I, yesterday I cleaned my grinder. I just soaked it in rubbing alcohol to get all the gunk off it. Mm. And as I'm doing, I'm telling my friend, I'm like, you know, back in the day, this was like fucking gold. <laughs> now I'm throwing it out, like because yeah. the resin would get you out. Like, you could turn it to a little goo ball, you know, like yeah, put that and put that in the fucking in the blunt, like you know. Because it would just be like chunky, gooey shit. Yeah, like, yeah. It was like literally like sticky. It was, it was, like, gum. It was like gummy. It was like gummy. It was almost like fucking hashish. Yeah, exactly. exactly dude. It <laughs> yeah. was like it was like putty, like tissue <laughs> car bumpers yeah. and shit back in the day. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you put that on. I'm like, I'm, I don't just throw it out. I'm like, right. I was like, I, I got fucking drums of it. Like, right. I don't need this. It doesn't shit. even matter. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's so weird. Times change quick. Yeah. But uh, is that like, your preference, weed over mushrooms? No, I think. Uh, well, I thought about this a long time ago, and it's changed over the years. Uh, for a long time, if I had to keep one vice, it would be drinking. Yeah. Uh, years ago, uh, it was, I was like, you know, I, like, when I'm at home, if I'm home alone, I don't really drink
I got a little know, I, I drink cabinet, I cabinet drink, full of liquor and I yeah, don't drink it. I drink it when I'm out. Home. Yeah. So if I smoke at home, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll probably keep the weed. Yeah. Now, man, I'm like, I don't do mushrooms that frequently at all. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I probably do more frequently than most, maybe once a month. Yeah. But I love it so much. I'm like, it's so I, good. Yeah. I was like, if, if I can never do mushrooms again, I was like, I don't know about that. I've never had a bad mushroom trip. No. Ever. And I've gone really have I, deep sometimes. Yeah, uh, no, neither have I, man. People yeah. come like, oh, you know, that one scared me. I was like, Dude, even the scary ones are fun. Like, yeah. This, as long as you know in your head, you're like, nothing bad is going to happen if I just surrender to this. Yeah. You can ride it out and it's great. Oh, it's, I, I've, I've, yeah, I've always gotten something from it. Mm -hmm. I, I've never had a mushroom trip and like, I shouldn't have done that. I've yeah. never said that. Same. There have been plenty of times like, oh, I drank a lot. And yeah, I said, I all have the time with drinking and with smoking weed, I'm like, oh, fuck, I got too high. I forgot to do this. Yep. You know, like, oh, I'm tired. God yeah. damn it. But I've I'm never been like, you know, I should have done those mushrooms. Like, I should have done more mushrooms. For hey, sure. Well, while I'm on go mushrooms, deeper. I'm like, I should have taken 10 yeah. times as much. <laughs> Even though I'm high right now, I should have taken way more than You're I took. Go yeah. more. Yeah. It's, dude, I, I hope when I die, I can look at all the times that I've drank and say, all right, did the fun times outweigh the shitty times? Yeah. You know, I've had some rough. I've had times where I'm like, I need to stop drinking. And oh, I've yeah, thought, yeah, I've thought all, about I mean, quitting. Benders. I mean, but college, benders are the worst. All college. Even even in my 30s, late oh, 30s yeah. and 40s, I'm like, what the this fuck year. am I doing with myself? <laughs> right. This year alone. Dude, the last comedy show that I ran at Neat, yeah. I, I I started drinking at 4 o'clock. I don't remember putting the stage away or closing the show out. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, I was just in my bed in the morning. I'm like, dude, what happened what the fuck's going last on? night? I'm like, I'm 42. What the fuck am I doing? No, so man, I stopped for a while, but it's like... Dude, how much fun have I had and people have I met and shit yeah. that I've done? Like, my body count with women would probably be like 120th yeah, yeah. of what it is. I mean, liquor, liquor's how more people get laid than anything yeah, else. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck the pill. Liquor. Right. right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> liquor, liquor's been the, the, those are, laid since time and memoriam. Those are my PEDs, man. That's all I got. I know. But I mean, yeah, look, I, I, like, as I, I still feel good. Like, if, I felt like if the drinking, look, I can't drink the way I used to. For sure. And I also don't. Like, I mean, when I was in college, it was just every single day. Non-stop. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the up, if I'm having a big week, it'll be like three days. You know, like... Yeah. You know, You're a better man than me. I could get to five or six. Uh, no, no, if I'm on vaca no, no, if I'm on vacation, like, if I'm on vacation, it's the whole fucking thing. It's all day. And you're yeah, starting yeah, yeah, like, well, because I'm not doing anything. You're starting at 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. So it's like, I, there's no, like, errands to run. I'm not going anywhere. Right. My problem you know, is... I'm here. Vacation, I, I've arrived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation's like, I'll start with a spritz. You know, let me just ease into oh, the Oh, yeah, that no, starts early. 30 minutes later, though, early. it's a Jaeger bomb. So, yeah, like, when yeah, it just cancels out. I'm having a whiskey with my bagel. Yeah. <laughs> you get right into it. Yeah, I love it. it. Fuck that. But uh, but yeah, I mean like, it, 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 they just have their use for me now. Like the the uh, you know, drinking is definitely a social thing. When I'm smoking for weed, sure. it's going to the gym, or it's at night when I'm fucking you know watching TV, ready ready for bed or whatever. Uh, and yeah. then mushrooms. If I'm, if I'm going camping, I'm on mushrooms. Oh, for sure. That's you know, the best. Outside, you know, that's you got to be in nature. That's what I've best. always said to people. People that just do them and sit on their couch. I'm like, what's the point of that? Like, uh, go, yeah, go. I've, done that, I've done that with uh, the uh, during the pandemic. We we all had to do that. Yeah, there was a lot of that. Technically, oh, technically, but uh, but a lot of times, the first time I'll do it with someone, I'll go to their house. Okay, you know, like you know, I had some buddies who were interested. Oh yeah, yeah. he had his house with a pool. I was like yeah, it was a fucking oh, in the yard. Got a nice pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking. If you're outside. Hollywood, he had a pool. Like a fucking yeah. yard. You know, I get much as everybody. You know, there's like four or five of us. We all ate them in the afternoon. It was like this is fucking awesome. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> there you go. When I introduce someone, I want them to be in a comfortable environment. You know, if they haven't if they haven't done them before. That's true. Uh, but what, like people like eat them and go to concerts or go to a festival. I'm like, get the. F you wouldn't it's, catch me dead. At Burning Man on mushrooms. You so I've, dead at Burning Man for any reason. I've done on this mushrooms. Stuff. Fuck I, that. The first time I did mushrooms, I was 36. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I went to an LCD sound system concert at, at the Palladium. Okay. And I, I was like, I don't really know what's going to happen. It felt like they were like flying a spaceship. Like oh, yeah. The Palladium was a spaceship and they were playing instruments and lights were. I was like, this is fucking amazing. I know, but, but the since people then, around I me haven't. Makes me feel like too many people give me anxiety when it, mushrooms. After a little while, I was like, all right, but it was, I was microdosing. So I didn't go. Okay. I, I didn't oh, yeah. Go no, I've never deep, microdosed. But I've I'm, only macrodosed. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. If I'm going to macrodose, I'm going outside. I'm going into nature yeah. or something. Or sit at somebody's pool. Yeah. Down their some backyard. Swimming. It's yeah. great. Listen yeah. to music. You, I don't want like groups of people I don't know milling around me. Yeah, you. You're like, I don't like people walking behind me. I don't know <laughs> yeah, when I'm on mushrooms. Right. <laughs> like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy? Okay, what are you doing? Like, like that? I don't know who you are either, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're just on the bus. <laughs> like, are you fuck's, real? Fuck's your problem. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh shit. We're coming to the end here. I like to do a little news. I pick the stories. So okay. Get your get your unvarnished reaction here. All right. <laughs> It's always something stupid during the week. <laughs> oh shit! There we go. Sorry, I had my Wi-Fi off.
<laughs> he's focused. I looked, I looked over he's and I was like all Chinese. I'm like, <laughs> he's handling business back there. <laughs> you all right? You, you pick your head up? Buddy? He's like, don't worry. It's a sativa. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I saw, I saw this. <clears throat> a study has shown that women need more sleep than men because they use more of their brains. Now. <laughs> yeah, but if the brain is smaller... <laughs> Does that? <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense because their brain is little. <laughs> it's smaller. They're smaller, smaller human beings, a right? Third the size of a man. <laughs> uh, so the study has shown that women fall asleep faster and spend more time in deep sleep, suggesting a greater need for sleep. Women fall asleep faster. That's kind of nice. Uh, insomnia, depression, and hormone changes are common sleep disruptors for women. Sleep expert Tom Coleman said there's a number of reasons women require more rest. There's some debate about this. One piece of research indicates that women need more of, that use more of their brains, which requires more deep sleep. Now, I, I, how do they know? How could you tell? Like, you use more of your brain. I what guess does that mean? They probably hook up electrodes to that shit. Either way, something that we yeah, don't but understand. like what? Per, like, but how do they the percentages? Like more of your brain? They, they could tell like area wise how much you're using. Right? Is it more synapses are firing, or are there different segments of their brain that are being used? I mean, yeah. th this does kind of make sense, though, because women, well, women do overthink, overthink. Yeah, overthink <laughs> about a, ton, a lot of yeah. shit. They're always, overthink always thinking about some old shit to bring yeah. up. You know what I mean? And I, I would think that would actually have them stay up later, but it seems like it, it makes them tired. Well, so it's probably exhausting. Faster. Exactly. That's yeah. got to be exhausting. It's got to be, <laughs> be exhausting imagine. being one of these dumb bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, ladies. I love you. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah, I got yeah. a question for you. Your Instagram is fucking hilarious. Thank you. But I, I'm curious... If you're dating a woman and she sees it, does it turn them the other direction sometimes? Or do you just not uh, no, give no, no. a fuck? So I've, I've, they know that I'm a comedian and I, okay. I tell them this, this is, this it, is what it is. This is what it is. Yeah. You know, I, it's, you know, it, it's nothing personal. You're great. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I've had, I've, you know, I was doing that before I had a serious girlfriend. I had it once. I had serious girlfriends. I've had it afterward. Yeah. And everything in between. And, yeah, it's, like, it's just comedy. Like you, right. know, it's like you see a lot of my personal life on the D. You see me fucking exactly. Like, You're it, fucking it's, around. It's shows, it's jokes, and it's memes. Yeah, that's all I'm putting on there. Like here's my shows that I'm going to. Here's the shows I just did. Yeah. Here's a joke, or here's a fucking meme. You know, like other than that, you don't. There's nothing about my personal life on that's there. That's right? true. You don't see you on there. You know, right. You don't see anybody like not like you know, me like the woman I'm, the woman I'm dating or woman, you know, I have been dating whatever. I, like, I don't. You it, don't see it on there. Yeah, like I have a private life. This is not it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> right. so this is just you know comedy. I mean, I've, I've that had, makes sense. And look, a lot of those are my thoughts. I, I don't fucking make them up. Yeah. But I don't act on those thoughts. You know, it's like, it's, of course, it's just well, funny to think. That's you know, like, the thing. They're <laughs> funny <laughs> thoughts. Like, like my yeah. stupid comment about the woman's brain being smaller. Yeah. I don't actually <laughs> yeah, think yeah, this. Yeah, you obviously know that I'm small. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, but it's fucking just funny. <laughs> right. But um. But some. But there have been times when I first started comedy, a woman. Uh. Tried to like give me notes, and I said, "No, no, like, don't do that." She goes, "What do you mean?" Like, he's like, yeah, Wait, that, "After that's a not show, funny. you're not actually single anymore. We're dating." And I'm like, "And I'm like, look, I wrote that joke like whatever, you know, eight weeks ago when I was single, and two, do I go to your job and lean over your shoulder? Hey, you know, don't do it that way. Yeah, don't fucking you, you stay, mind your business. Right. And that one didn't work out. You know, <laughs> like, 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 you know, this is my passion. Like, it's what I love doing. Yeah. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, then there's the door. Like, if you don't like what I'm doing. And don't be around me. Like, exactly. You know, get on board or not, or not. And and you just have to put your foot down and say boundaries, dude. That's, that's what I learned. That's what I learned from women. Boundaries. They set boundaries and they mean them. Mm -hmm. So if a guy has every right to say. Guys are just such pussies though with women. A lot it's of times, like, oh, I mean, I don't want to. I just want. I don't want. I don't want a happy wife, happy life. Shut the fuck. up. I mean, so I've done it in, in my younger so years. Have I, I've done so it. Have I. That's and a, you learn your lesson. You're like, oh, she walked all over me because I just did whatever. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to make to her do. happy. It's right. like, well, you know, and I'm then a person you end up too. miserable. Yeah, I'm a person too, and right. this is going to end badly if, if I, you know, if I'm miserable and start sleeping around or whatever the fuck, you know, whatever guys do, and it's just, you know, this is important to me. Thank you for you know showing interest. I'd rather you not. <laughs> I'd rather you leave me the fuck alone with this. Right. One. You know, but a lot, a lot of people do get the wrong impression. Though. I mean, I, I've I've uh, coming out of the pandemic, I got recognized a few times. I was out on the road because you know they were sitting in that fucking house. Everyone saw the memes. Oh yeah. And um, the people were surprised. Like, oh man, you seem like really fucking chill and normal. I'm like. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm not fucking doing the shit I'm saying on the internet. Like, like I'm, I'm not in a, prison, dude. I'm not a psychopath. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd be in fucking jail next to goddamn Bill Cosby right, right. now. Like, yeah, if I did this shit, like, me and Harvey Weinstein would be bunkies. You know, like, some shit. Like, I'm right. fucking around. Right. Dude. I'm not, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a normal human yeah, being. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not running for mayor, this motherfucker. Oh, well, Although apparently we should be. Men's brains are generally larger Holy than women's. Holy shit. 
So are our dicks, but not in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> They're catching up. They're catching up. Catching up quick. Very quickly. A lot of big dick chicks out there. <laughs> oh, man. They got that BDE. <laughs> I know. They're going strong with it. This, Damn, hey, that's question crazy. For you, how, uh, how, how good would they have to get a trans surgery before you consider it? <laughs> Considering the surgery or a fucking a trans woman? Fucking a trans woman. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go to Thailand next month, so we'll uh, we'll see. No, um, because it's gonna there's gonna come a time if, where you can't tell if you can't tell, and they don't ever tell you, then what? Then how, how, how would you, know? you even know? Yeah, well, that's the thing. So, like, I was thinking about this the other day because you I can talk, tell with their voices sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But, but if I've they talked, can get rid of that, but I talked about this in the podcast. So, like, they now can make diamonds in the lab that are yeah. pure. That are real in structure, but are artificial. But women still prefer di- blood diamonds from Africa because <laughs> women are families. obviously the best. You know, really. Well, not, the, the brains. Yeah, the brains. <laughs> 10 to 50 percent smaller. <laughs> but, but they're like, oh, you know, I want natural diamonds. But at some point, the science is going to get so good that they can scientifically change your DNA structure to become a woman. It's, like, it's, right. it's a matter of time. It's going to get there. They got You're CRISPR right. out there. It's going to get there. So if she wasn't born a woman, but she is one now. And she's hot. Are you still going to be like, you know what? I can't do it. How many? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know about myself, man. Like, as long as the DNA is there and they don't have a, you know, giant hog. <laughs> but if I, right. If I, if I don't even know yeah. and nobody else knows and she doesn't even say anything. You'll yeah. know because when it, you ask her what she wants to get for dinner, she gives you a straight answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> like, oh, all, man. It's got to be a man. That's all gotta, of our <laughs> arguments. All of our arguments, she's making logical points yeah, and yeah. shit. I'm all, like, of your, all of your arguments end in agreement. Like, wait, what's like, going yeah, on? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> like, this isn't something fishy. Holy this shit. This has got to be a this dude. Is, this, is like, this is like a conversation I used to have with some of my buddies back in Philly. They'd be like, all right, how much Yo, would yeah, it that's... cost for you to get your dick sucked by a dude? And it would start at 500 grand, and all of a sudden, by the end of the night, and like a bunch of drinks, it's $50. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, I'll like right now, right right now 50 bucks. I'll pay you fifty bucks for <laughs> <suck> my dick. <laughs> really now quickly we're doesn't go. <laughs> yeah, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to come back after I go on go to Thailand and yeah, uh, yeah, I'll report exactly. back. I've been to Thailand. What part of Thailand are you going to? I'm going to starting. I'm going all over. I'm going to Bangkok, and then we're gonna like bounce at some. Uh, is you like and beach a gal towns. Some buddies? No, my buddy Joe, I'm rolling over there with. I have my old, uh, my old roommate, my good friend uh, TJ lives in Manila in the Philippines. And I have okay. another buddy that lives in Bangkok. Oh my gosh, so, so you guys, guys are already out there. Oh yeah, so we're going, we're going to start in Bangkok, going to Singapore, Philippines. We're gonna hit some, hit some spots in between nice. for like two weeks. Yeah. Nice. I've little, never I, been. I did a little time in Thailand. It was cool. Uh, Bangkok was just hot and sweaty. Yeah, a lot. Of, it's like Chinatown, but everywhere. Oh shit. But I mean, it, you know, right. it's cool. But yeah. some of the best beaches in the world. Once that's, you get once you get out of bank, I mean, like, dude, that's the thing about every fucking city I've been to. I've been every city I've been to kind of starts looking the same now. Yeah, I can see that. You know, like like years past, they used to have like a little bit different. But now you fucking dude, I was in Lugano, Switzerland, or whatever, and they got fucking McDonald's. You know, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what the fuck, dude? You like, got to go to some old like off the beaten path town. Yeah, dude, like you some old go, like, world yeah, shit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but they have like a fucking well for water. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're cranking right. a thing to get water out of it. They're right, like, right. That's where you got to go to, like, to find, like, some, we're watching like, them slaughter oh, the original. goats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta People kill your own dinner. Like. <laughs> um, all right, here, this is, this is actually fucking disturbing. All right. Maybe you can guess in this mic, too. Guess how much the American dream now costs. Take a wild guess. I'll say two million dollars i was gonna say 2.2 3.5 million dollars jesus christ you oh, price is right in me american dream i don't want no fucking kids <laughs> yeah that's yeah, it's absolutely yeah well the, the kids part yeah, of how it, much does the kids cost uh the lifetime uh, the lifetime cost of average family health insurance premiums just the health insurance premiums for a family of five nine hundred and thirty four thousand dollars did i feel like we could go get some average cost of raising blow. two children is five hundred seventy seven thousand jesus christ yeah dude so Right there, you, you it, it is two million if you knock out the kids and health insurance. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, nailed yeah. it. Well, I'm a, as a single guy, that's all I really. I don't need right. that bullshit. But what is the dream, though? Really, I mean, we can well, go get some hookers and blow for like two grand. See, that is, really that is the to. thing. The American dream. It's like you know the the, the house, the wife, the two kids, the Pick dog. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean that. But that's also not my dream. 
right? I mean, I'm starting to think this child trafficking thing might be an inside job. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty lucrative. You gotta cover that. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Save people some money. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta cover that in five hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars nut. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, the, you're right. The American dream is like, what does that even mean anymore? Dude, yeah. How many people? I, I would venture to guess uh, something like uh, one in four people are going to remain single for the rest of their life in this country. I believe that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm and uh, and birth rates are way down. So like, what is it? most people want to be fucking TikTok influencers? That's the real new American dream. What does that cost? Like, the American dream has, ch- has changed, I, th- I feel like, because people have given up on it. It's something like, I saw a stat the other day, they asked, like, kids in middle school or high school, like, it's 40% of kids want, want to be, like, influencer or, or YouTube stars now. I mean, I don't blame what them. Happened, what happened to being an astronaut? I know, right? Or a fucking <laughs> cop, you know, like, fire with popular in my neighborhood. Yeah. Like, oh, look, they get to use an axe. I want to do that. Or not even a fucking pro athlete. Yeah, that's I, what's like, crazy. You don't, like, that's, that yeah. seems like the I best mean, job. I mean, everyone wanted to play for the Knicks when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, I wanted the fucking Fuck Knicks. Fuck the Knicks, by the way, but yeah. okay. Uh, whatever. They, they haven't won anything. <laughs> they haven't won anything in 50 years. Yeah, <laughs> no one has to be mad at them. You know, your Sixers have won more. I'm just bitter because the Sixers are so bad. Okay, what happened to Ben Simmons? Where'd he go? He's still playing? He's trans now. They, he got the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nobody can tell. He, nobody yeah. can tell. <laughs> Mike's on fire on this he episode. He's crushing it. Mike's hot on this one. What is that weed you got over there? Because I'm going to the kind where you fall asleep for a while, but when you get up, you're kicking. <laughs> yeah, well, well, just so the listeners know, when I came in here, Mike was just sitting in front of his fish tank looking at the fish in silence. <laughs> I was like, you all right, man? He's like, yeah, just looking at the fish. He was locked in. He was locked, he was locked in. in. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, where can the people find you? Oh, man. Fucking. What's your socials? I, I'm, I'm off the grid now. Oh, you're not on social media anymore? No, no, no. Oh, wow. I was like, dude, fucking <laughs> bastard. How'd you pull I, that off? <laughs> I wish. Um, Jizzalowski on Instagram. That's all I'm in. I'm not on X. I'm not on anything else. G-Z-A-L-O-W-S-K-I. Um, I also run a show called High Proof yes, Comedy. great show. Um, in West L.A. at Neat Cocktail Bar. Um, it's every Tuesday, probably one of the second, nicest, third Tuesday of the month. Second and third? Yeah, yeah. It's probably one of the nicest bars I've done a show at. I mean, like, like high-end drinks and shit. It's fucking classic. Yeah, it's, a like good, it's, good, it's, it's like a fun ele- show. elevated dive bar. Yeah, good like whiskey, it. good cocktails. It's a fun show, as long as I don't black out. And <laughs> <through>. <laughs> no, <laughs> you you should, it, especially <laughs> go check out that sh- those shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad yeah. I finally got you on, brother. We'll do this again soon. Hell yeah, this is great, man. Thank you. All right, guys. Obviously, thanks for listening. Follow me at Randy Valero, follow the podcast at Ready Set Blow. Rate, review, subscribe. All the shit I'm supposed to tell you early on, but I never do. Love you guys. Check it next week. Peace.